Hey everybody and welcome. Tonight we have our uh, Amarone wine dinner with uh, the, the Mariano Buglione and, uh, and uh, we're excited about it. But we sent you a couple of things that we haven't sent you in prior wine dinners. So here's a quick little instructional video on how to deal with the Gougere and with opening a bottle of champagne. So if you don't have a saber and you don't want to saber the bottle of champagne, the way it goes it's like this. What you do is you keep your, once you take the cage off, you keep your thumb on the champagne corkscrew as much as possible. This is six turns to the left counterclockwise and you can free the cage just like this. And um, if you're totally in the interest, it should be very chilled by the way. If it's not chilled, put it in the refrigerator and come back later. Um, Cause, or drop it on ice and water, that'll get it chilled really fast. We've shipped it to you chilled, but you gotta make sure it's chilled. So the thing about champagne, what you do when you open a bottle of champagne is you know, if you go like this, you're gonna get champagne everywhere. If you go like this, you're gonna get champagne everywhere. If you point this at someone, you might lose it and might hurt somebody. So one of the things you do with the champagne is once you have the cage off, I then put a cloth on top of it because if there is any spillage, I want the spillage to go into the cloth and not otherwise. Then what I'm gonna do is, see there's a bubble on top of the champagne. So I put this at the angle so the bubble is, 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 has the most surface area just like this. And that will give the gas a lot of room to, ex to escape without shooting the champagne out of the top of the bottle. So I hold the cork steady, I, I take the bottom of the bottle just like this, and I turn it. Little circle, big circle. It's a gear. So if I hold the cork steady, I turn this, it should come off very easily, and I just back and forth and ease it out, I keep pressure on it, and it shouldn't make a big popping noise, and it degasses slowly and nothing comes out of the top like that. So I'm just gonna pour this champagne. Well, it's not champagne, I'm sorry. It's Spumante from Bouillone, which we are having this evening. Um, I'm gonna pour a couple of half glasses. I have uh, our own assistant here, head maitre d' Julie Blauvelt. And so that is how you open your Bouillone Rosé Il Villaco. Okay, beautiful. Another thing that you have that we haven't sent so far is we've sent gogeres. Gogeres are these little pastries. We'll tell you about them in the video, but if you stuff them in advance, <clears throat> it's not gonna be wonderful and delicious. But what we have done is we have baked these today and sent them to you. And we sent them to you in basically, it's a little sealed airtight bag. Um, it's uh, basically like a, we're gonna turn this into a pastry bag. And how we're gonna turn it into a pastry bag is we're going to cut off just a little tip here in the corner. I do that right there? Other side, oh, the, where, where, the, where it's shorter? We can do this a little, well, wherever, where the, where the, wherever the mousse is, that's where you wanna cut it, right? So we're gonna cut it and leave just a little bit here. So I have a little opening right here. And you may find in a lot of your gougeres, you'll find a natural hole because they aerate, they're very light. If not, you can poke a little one in there. I then take this and I fold it down to keep all of the mousse down at the bottom. And I basically turn this into a pastry bag. And then I, I take my pastry bag and I put it right up against the end and I squeeze, boop, boop, and I fill it. And there I have a little gougere with Salmon mousse in it. You have salmon mousse and you have trout mousse. I have enough for another one there. Let me show you what it looks like on the inside. Don't cut them. These are meant to be popped into your mouth and enjoyed just like that. But here is what the gougere looks like on the inside. And they are perfect with, Julie? Ooh, thank you. Perfect with just a little bit of sparkling spumante. Cheers. Salute. We'll see you tonight. Mmm. 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 Absolutely perfect. Enjoy. See you later. Mm. Let's finish it. One more.